Hey friends, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Before we get into this video, here is a quick blast from my past. Sorry that my voice sounds a little bit off. I've been getting off the backside of a cold, I hope. In today's video, we're gonna be decorating my Christmas coffee and hot cocoa bar in a gingerbread theme. My whole kitchen is going to be a gingerbread theme again this year. And Walmart surprisingly really came out with a lot of super cute gingerbread items. I only let myself get one gingerbread item there, but that's because I have some similar things so I wanted to still show them to you, which is why I pulled out my camera when I was there and just did a little bit of filming. And then while I was there, I wanted to show you a few more cute Christmassy items that they have at my Walmart. I know that different Walmarts around the country get their things in at different times. So hopefully if you see something you like, your Walmart will get it in really soon. We're starting in the gingerbread area and I will be showing you some Christmas gift ideas as well as we go along. This set came with a red and white striped bowl on the inside. I think these would make really great gift ideas. You could put some cookies in it and then let them keep the containers after. I like these cookie jars, the gingerbread man and the snowman, but of course I like everything cookies. I may go back for this wooden gingerbread boy, however I bought something similar to that at TJ Maxx recently, so that's why I didn't get it. If you know someone who appreciates nostalgic or retro type of gifts, these were really cute. I'm going to show you this one in detail. These are $25. They play 12 different Christmas songs, but the only thing I didn't like about them is that they required batteries. I wish they would have just had them plug into the wall because I'm always going through my batteries, but oh so cute. This is your North Pole weatherman, Blizzard Bob, reporting live from the front steps of Santa's workshop. We are predicting over 100 inches of snow, and we are currently showing level 5 hot cocoa with marshmallows. Blankets are a really simple gift idea, but who doesn't love them? They're soft, and these ones are neutral, so I think they'd work really well for men, women, boys, girls, whatever. This centerpiece was not a bad deal and would look perfect for Christmas on a rectangular dining table. To keep in a budget, Dollar Tree has some really inexpensive pillar candles that would work for it. And here's a centerpiece for a round table. And of course those same pillar candles from Dollar Tree would work in the red or the white, whatever color you prefer. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you They did have these holiday pods as an option for my coffee cocoa bar. 
but I decided against it. I already bought the basic ones and I thought with all of the candy and peppermint and such that I'm already adding, I didn't really need them. I did, however, grab some more candy. I needed some more M&Ms. I had already bought a bag previously, but I have no discipline for M&Ms when they're in the house. And then look at these Cadbury snowballs. I'm sure they taste like the Cadbury eggs at Easter, so I resisted. Now, I'm not a hat person, but I think these are really adorable. I would probably only wear one if I was having a really bad hair day and I was in a rush to get out the door. That's why my sister usually wears hats, according to her. But if you know someone who likes hats, I think they would make a really adorable gift. These $5 tear trays would work so cute, even for cupcakes. So I don't know about you, but for the really hard to shop for person in my life, or people, I should say, when I can't think of what to buy them, I usually try to think about their pet, if they have a pet, a cat, dog, fish, bird, whatever. If you've been following me, you know that I am a cat person. I think everybody finds that out right away. So of course I like those cat, cat tutory, cat tutory, I don't know. It's a cat charcuterie. And then these dog cookies looked good enough for people. If I did buy those and I had any babies or kids around, I would definitely tell them they are not for people. And then look at these, how fun. They say naughty on them. And then they have the ones that say nice over to the right. So adorable. Man, they just have everything for pets now. I'm scared of rawhides. I, I've heard those can like get stuck in their stomachs. So I steer clear of it. Here are the pieces that I picked up from Walmart. Not very many things, but um, I picked up this peppermint candy pillow which I thought was really pretty. And I think it's gonna go on our bed this year for Christmas cause I have a comforter that's also this kind of soft fleecy material. So I thought that would work really nice. And before I forget, I did get this top. You can see, I'll show you a couple others right here. I thought the gray one looked a little bit like pajamas. So that's why I steered away from that one, although I thought that one was cute also. This one that's for grandmas, I think is really adorable. So if you know someone that's going to be a grandma soon, uh, especially a first time grandma, I think that might be a really good gift idea. Then I picked up this cute little, I guess they call it an artificial snowy pine tree in pot. And again, I'll put the price up for you because I can't remember. And then for my gingerbread item, I did pick up one of these mug holders complete with the mug set. You'll see that every other one is different, but I like the fact that it comes in this because it'll save space on my counter. So with that, let's get to decorating my Christmas coffee and hot cocoa bar. Here we are in my kitchen and for now, I'm just gonna use this gingerbread man to hold all my pods, my coffee pods and my cocoa pods. Mostly they're gonna be used for cocoa after my husband finishes those coffee pods. And if you recall, this is the tear tray that I used for my fall coffee bar as well. So I'm just gonna use it again. I love it, it worked so well. My husband got into these, it's not really his fault though. I was hiding them from the kids in the pantry, which also happens to be his man cave and I forgot to tell him to stay out of them. These stir sticks were from TJ Maxx. And then of course I have some Andy's candies. You saw I had bought these M&Ms. And so I'm just gonna start by putting my candy in these special little containers. You may remember these from last year, these glass Christmas trees. They were a thrift store find that I found, I don't even know how many years ago. And then they sat for the longest time. And then last year and this year, I have finally put them to good use. Aside from eBay, where they're really expensive, I haven't seen any similar glass Christmas trees like that. So if you know of where some could be found, I'd love it if you let me know in the comments so I can direct others to them. I was glad to see that even though my husband had a few chocolates, he did leave me enough to fill the apothecary jar. If you're interested in where I purchased these bottles along with the labels, I'll go ahead and link that in the description box for you. They are from Amazon. And then I thought I'd go ahead and put my tea on the shelf as well. I figured I have room for it, so why not? And then the marshmallows and M&Ms, I think will work really well right here on the top shelf. This cute little guy was from Hobby Lobby. I can't recall if I have seen him this year. I think I did.
Looking back at this, I'm thinking I probably should have flipped these the other way and put the ribbons on the top. That probably would have been prettier, but oh well, it works either way, I guess. This gingerbread house is from Hobby Lobby and it lights up. It was a recent find and by the way, if you do not know already, Hobby Lobby is my favorite store. This little gingerbread boy holding the sign Hot Cocoa Served here is also from Hobby Lobby very recently. I think he was new this year. The peppermint stir sticks were from Hobby Lobby and then I have one more thing from Hobby Lobby in a second, but yes, it's these napkins. I thought they were so fun. And then I did find these sprinkles from Walmart. The little reindeer guy was just too cute to pass up. I don't really think we're going to use sprinkles in our coffee or hot cocoa, but I know the kids will appreciate it, and I'm sure they will grab it for every other excuse possible. But who can blame them? Life is better with sprinkles, isn't it, for everybody? And then I did make some candy cane cookies out of my favorite cookie book which i will show you in just a minute i think it's probably the most famous cookie book out there i'll explain to you why i think that as well and if you don't have this cookbook i will have the recipe for you in the description box and then if you are enjoying this video would you please give it a like that really helps small channels like mine get pushed out to more people so thank you for doing that my channel is all about home decor and homemaking, and of course, I do shopping videos. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions about where I purchased anything that maybe I didn't mention, feel free to ask me in the comments, but I'm pretty happy with how this Christmas cocoa bar turned out this year. It is very different from last year though, and last year, I did it along with my regular Christmas kitchen decorate video, so I will link that in the description box for you also in case you would like to see that. So I'm part of a best cookie recipes group on Facebook and they were showing this cookie book. Of course, I recognized it immediately as the one I grew up with. My mom had a copy, my grandma had a copy, and then my sister and I each got a copy. Then I recently found one at a thrift store, so I bought my daughter a copy in really good shape. That's the one I'm working from right now in this video. But that one Facebook post had almost 400 likes and the fact that it's now back in production today, I think says a lot for it. So here I am getting ready to shape my candy canes and I think the best way to do that is to put on a really good show. Can you tell what I'm putting on? And I'm gonna go ahead and go to work and take my time. I think there's nothing more relaxing than just shaping cookies, making them look beautiful while I enjoy watching the honeymooners. For me, this is a good way to unwind when everybody goes to bed and I have the house to myself. And then I wanted to show you what I have over here in this corner. This isn't going to stay. When I do my kitchen decorating video, I will be doing something different over here. Although I did want to tell you the dish that the candle is sitting in was 10 cents because it was 90% off from a thrift store. And then this little guy I got from a thrift store too recently. And so I wanted to use him right away, even though, like I say, he's probably not going to stay here for good. Here's just a quick clip of my son decorating the new Christmas tree from the at-home store and a very old ornament from when I was a little girl. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, stay thankful.